Hi everyone, I just finished building my first dashboard in Power BI and I recorded the process and uploaded it to my channel where you can watch it. It's divided into eight parts and I'll link to the playlist in the description below. I wanted to share with you what went into the process of building this dashboard and how I learned by doing. Let's chat about that while we watch a speed run of this dashboard build. Let's get into it. This was my first Power BI dashboard build. And my previous experience that I had with Power BI was just following along with YouTube tutorials and just watching various YouTube videos about Power BI. And I always had an interest in Power BI because of my uh, time spent with Power Automate and had some interest in learning some basics about data analytics. Uh, just had really no idea where I should get started. And so I, I was doing like those tutorials for a while and it was like a good introduction to Power BI for me. And I did follow one particular YouTube channel where you could, you could, you could follow along with a um, sample data set and do what the instructor was doing. And it's, that's a, that was a great way to get like hands-on experience. Um, but ultimately I felt like I wasn't really like learning anything because my learning style is really like learning by doing. And even though I was doing in the sense that I was like actually following along step by step with the instructor's sample data set, I, I just wasn't learning because I'm, I'm not like, I'm not using my brain in the sense that I'm like actively engaged with like what I'm doing because it's not my own data, right? So I was fortunate enough to be able to work on a project at work um, and that's what you're seeing here, but this is actually the duplicate project that I did side by side with that project. Uh, it was the same data set, I just altered the data um, prior to bringing it in. So for privacy reasons, of course, and that's what you're seeing here. So while I was working on that project at work, I was at the same time doing this here, what you're seeing. And I, I learned so much by doing it this way because um, I actually had to reason through things like what's the best way to bring in the data and then also automate that process of bringing the data into Power BI and then transforming the data, getting it set to the way that I need it, and then creating the dashboard, building the visualizations, creating the measures, building the visualizations, and making having the data in a way that makes sense to stakeholders. And so I think for me, the, the biggest part, the biggest challenge was um, the visualizations and the measures because the, the introductory stuff that I had done with Power BI like on my own was um, helpful in learning how to bring data in and then transform that data. And so I was able to, to, to like conquer that part of this project pretty, pretty easily. But then how to actually do something with the data that's, that was like, that would be useful for someone. That was the challenge. And I, I, for that, I really just use um, a lot of resources like YouTube videos and, and um, that's primarily what I used actually to, to figure this out. And it was, um, it was a really fun project and I did learn a lot. And I think for me, the, the biggest thing that I learned um, was creating new measures and creating visualizations from those measures. Um, I think that that was the part that always like scared me and the part that I was always like, it seems too complicated. But the thing is, and I didn't know this before, but Power BI it really makes it easy. And if you have any familiarity at all with Excel, um, I think like that's all you really need to then put pull that data from an Excel file into Power BI and do something with it. And you know, you're you're seeing me create these measures, and it's nothing. By no means is anything on this dashboard super complex. Um, 
once you just get started you'll and get familiar with the layout you'll you'll figure it out in no time um, and while there are some um, visualizations that were a little bit more complex like the average registrations per instructor over time that you see in the lower left hand corner um, you know that that one took a little bit more time because I wasn't figure I wasn't sure how to bring in the um, dates appropriately but once I figured that out um, it went everything else kind of came together and um, I think the the funnest part for me was like making the dashboard um, look nice and originally I had the table in there and decided to scrap that and just stick with a bunch of visualizations and I think that that was super helpful um, went from the standpoint of what would be most helpful for someone looking at this and having the table in there just didn't seem like something useful for people so um, so I think the thing that I wanted to share uh, to close this video out is just that you can learn Power BI and you can teach yourself and don't be afraid of data analytics, which you know, people often associate with like, well, I have to know math. Um, and obviously to some degree you do, but Power BI is really like Excel on steroids and it makes it really easy to um, create cool visualizations of data. And it's, I found it, I find it to be intuitive as I go along. And obviously there's, there's a lot of different things that make it challenging, but there's so many resources out there that if you do get stuck, you'll probably find the answer out there somewhere. So, um, I just, I just want to close by saying, give it a try. Um, I think you'll find it fun. And as I continue to build dashboards, um, I'm going to keep sharing them and kind of share what I learned through the process of each one. So that's going to be it. Thanks for watching this video guys. Bye-bye.